What are three best German beers and best food to go with it? Wonderful. As a tour guide, I'll take you to the best beer gardens and most famous beer halls in Munich, Germany. German beer purity law was first introduced more than 500 years ago right here in Bavaria. It allows beer brewing with only four ingredients and still German brewers managed to create a whopping 5,000 different beers out of it, more than in any other country in the world. For the best beer festival in the world, Oktoberfest, almost every brewery in Munich makes their own special beer. But all beers still have to comply with the famous beer purity law that spread from Bavaria and was later adopted by all German states. Here, beer is officially classified as food and the signature drink of Bavarian beer culture is Weiss beer or wheat beer. It must be brewed with at least 50% wheat malt. These beers are fermented with yeast strains that provide typical clove, banana, smoke and even bubblegum aroma. As wheat beer is top fermenting, it's brewed at warmer temperatures, unlike bottom fermenting beers that require cooler temperatures. That's why before the refrigeration technology was invented in the 18th century, wheat beer was the only one allowed to be brewed in the summer months. No wonder then that it was the most popular type of beer for more than 200 years. With the invention of technology for keeping fermenting and maturing beer cool, summer brewing restrictions were eliminated. Brown beer became fashionable and wheat beer rapidly decreased in popularity. In the last decades, wheat beer is experiencing a big revival and the one to try is Schneider Weisse. It's made by Schneider Brauhaus, Germany's most popular wheat beer brewery. The traditional brewery tavern is in the middle of the old town and offers a great Bavarian atmosphere. Brewery taverns are a popular place for a traditional meal and one of the must-try dishes is a traditional sausage called Bratwurst large grilled pork sausage with sauerkraut. The bratwurst is first poached and then always pan-fried or grilled. This is the most popular German sausage as it's perfect pub food and original German fast food. Bratwurst was a means of survival during the winter months as nothing was wasted and precious meat scraps ended up in this sausage. Next popular type of beer is Helles, which simply translates to bright beer. Helles is a traditional German lager produced around Munich. When Czechs started to produce a light, golden yellow lager called Pilsner, it became a big hit in Europe. At the time, Bavarian brewers had traditionally made strong, dark lagers. In response to Czech Pilsner, Bavarians developed their own variety of bright lager that was lighter and less bitter than Pilsner, but much maltier. New, crystal clear, easy drinking and fresh beer was called Helles. There are many good Helles, but the one to try is brewed by the oldest brewery in Munich with almost 700 years of heritage, Agustiner Brown. Agustiner Keller is known for its large beer garden, where they also offer great traditional food. The most famous one is pork knuckles or Schweinshaxe, as it's called in Bavaria. Pork knuckles are a staple in traditional German cuisine and depending on the region and slightly different preparation process, they come with various names. Bavarian Schweinshaxe refers to a whole pork knuckle that it's marinated for days and then slow roasted for hours until it's thoroughly cooked and the skin becomes golden brown and crispy. Having a giant pork knuckle on a plate, or half of it in my case, is definitely a unique experience. But besides traditional beer and traditional food, this place also has a traditional ambience as this is one of the most popular beer gardens in Munich. Beer gardens were born here and this is the story of how it all started. The reason for beer gardens can be found in Bavarian Brewing Law of 1539. The law only allowed the brewing of beer between autumn and spring as fermentation in hot weather could spoil the beer. To get around the problem, one brewer came up with the idea of digging a huge underground beer cellar where the beer would stay cool and fresh throughout the summer. To provide shade for the soil, chestnut trees were planted over the cellar. With their flat roots, the trees didn't damage the vaults and grew quickly and thus created nice shady gardens above the cellar. Beer gardens were born and have become an important part of Bavarian beer culture. 
part of the beer culture is also a huge beer mug called Mass. Mass is actually a regulated serving unit that contains exactly one liter. But let me tell you, this beer mug is a real workout as a full mass weights 2.3 kilo. So a big respect to all waitresses inside Oktoberfest tents that often carry 15 or even more of these. Munich has over 60 beer gardens, but the largest one has an impressive 8,000 seats. It's called Hirschgarten as it's located in the park that bears the same name. Another famous beer garden is in the biggest city park in Europe, the English Garden Park. This is another huge beer garden as it's the second largest in Munich with about 7,000 seats. It's called the Chinese Tower Beer Garden as it spreads under the famous pagoda-like wooden tower. But the most central beer garden in Munich is just a few steps away from the main square. Victualien Mark Beer Garden is located in Munich's central food market, nestled between market stalls. In the middle of the food market rises a maypole, a decorated tree trunk that carries figurettes displaying trades and crafts from this part of Munich. This city beer garden attracts many tourists since the popular Glockenspiel is just around the corner. A unique feature of this beer garden is an alternating selection of Munich's beer types. Every six weeks, a different beer from one of Munich's famous breweries is served from the tap and the most famous one is just around the corner. It is called Hofbrauhaus and it's probably the most famous beer cellar in the world. According to the legend, the Duke of Bavaria found the beer in Munich so bad that he commissioned his own state brewery. The Hofbrauhaus brewery was built to produce beer exclusively for Bavarian royalty. 300 years later, the brewery was finally opened to the public. The building was remodeled and the brewery was moved to the suburbs, while the building became a famous beer hall that quickly became the center of Munich's public and political life. The first beer to be brewed in this brewery was Dunkel, traditional strong dark lager. Dunkel predates all other types of beer and is considered the original type of Bavarian beer. Rost. This dark beer is still produced only in Munich, although its color can range from copper to dark brown. Beer has a typical caramel-like, spicy and toasty character. But besides traditional beer, they also serve traditional Bavarian specialty, a weird-looking white sausage called Weisswurst. The story of white sausage dates to the 1800s, when a butcher of the restaurant on the main square ran out of sheep intestines for the traditional Bratwurst. Instead, he used thin pork casings and filled them with the sausage mixture. As he was worried that the sausage would burst open during the frying process, he only put them in water for 10 minutes. After serving the cooked sausages, the new dish was praised and Weisswurst was born. Bavarians prefer to eat their famous white sausage with sweet mustard and a pretzel called Brezzo in Munich. These pretzels are soft, light and fluffy. Their crust is thin dark brown and shiny and has a cracked surface after baking. Pretzels are available in different versions and sizes, usually topped with coarse salt. They go well with any sausage or beer, so no wonder they can be found in beer gardens and on almost every corner around the city. Besides unique beer culture and delicious food, Bavarian capital is also packed with amazing attractions. You can check them in my video in the top right corner. Also, take a look in the description below where you'll find my favorite Munich tours and experiences. My name is Rock, super thanks for the thumbs up and for watching and see you next time.